guys, they said Kabiesi lost his school as Antigbi was caught with Prince Tadenika were moving out of the palace. Allegedly, oh, allegedly. According to the information, they said uh, Kabi, uh, Kwinomi visited the palace as usual. You know that these days, she is often coming to the palace to see Kabiesi, you know, to spend time with Kabiesi. And most of the times, whenever she's coming, she normally comes with uh, Tade Nikau, so that Tade Nikau, on the other hand, will spend time with his father. They said they came home, and from the information we gathered, they said the wives have left the palace. They are no longer in the palace at the moment. Even though they are still coming, if there's anything that will bring them to the palace, they used to come. That is the information we heard. So maybe we normally thought that the palace is now more uh, safe, you know, such that uh, they said while she was busy discussing with KBAC, they were just talking about a whole lot of things, the th things, that are, things that are going on in the palace, uh, the way that we, uh, where about of uh, as in how they are preparing for their reunion and everything. They said they have a lot to talk about and while they were on it, Tade Nikawa was running around right there inside the place that they were discussing. But all of a sudden, they did not know. It kept, it kept their mind. They don't know when she uh, he ran out. And they were not that bothered because they believe that the palace is now safe. You know? But uh, they said at some point, the discussion was come, going on. When they talked about... Tade Nikawo. I don't know if it is about his dress or they just discussed about Tade Nikawo. That was when uh, it came to her mind that, uh, okay, they say where is that Tade? On looking around, they did not see Tade Nikawo. They searched everywhere, they did not see Tade Nikawo. They came outside, they did not see Tade Nikawo. My people, not be smart, you know. That was when they said they started asking uh, security guards, where is Tade Nikawo? They said they saw him why he was just moving out like that, not outside the gate, too, you know? And, yeah, you saw him and you did nothing. That was how they raised the alarm. More. Then they started looking for Tade Nikawo. They were calling people. At that point, they said they made call and asked the, those in the gate, did they see Tade Nikawo? And while they were still searching for Tade Nikawo, the security were rushing to see. Behold, they said they saw uh, Antigbe. They said she was coming to the palace. Maybe she was coming to see KBAC. I don't know. Because these days, they are trying to see KBAC and yet they are not succeeding. The other day, we heard that all of them waited and waited and waited where KBAC said they should be waiting for him. And they waited from morning till night. KBAC did not show face. And that did not go well with them. They said they left crying. And you know that even if others will keep quiet, Igbi will not keep quiet. One thing about her is that she must get what she wants and she really wants to talk to kabiesi so maybe she was coming to see kabiesi because that is what they say she said that when they caught her because while they were searching for tade nikawo they saw her uh holding hands with tade nikawo moving out you know and she is moving towards the direction where she parked her car you know that these days they are no longer bringing their cars into the palace as we heard allegedly that where they are parking these days is where visitors used to park their car anytime they enter the palace. And that place, if you park, you have to walk for some minutes before you get to KBSC's chamber and uh, the waiting room and the, the conference hall and everywhere. So they saw her holding hands with Tadenika, moving, and she was moving towards her car. Hey! A lot of people were like, if this information is true, what is her mission? This life, eh? So, and the people are blaming Queen Naomi. Queen Naomi, you cannot be too, too loose now. Not now. You have to hold Tade Nikawo very closely. Forget, if this information is true, me too. Hmm, I don't know what to say, but Queen Naomi should be very careful. In as much as they said the palace is now a bit safe. The palace is no more congested with all of these women and their wahala every now and then. Even at that, they say when KBSC hears that it was Antigbi that was holding this guy going out, hey, he could not hold it. And when they were asking her, she was just saying that the boy just came to her and uh, she wanted to go to her car and uh, get a gift for him and all of that. You can imagine. You can imagine, my people. Hey, KBSC was like, what for? Huh? Who doesn't know you? 
who doesn't know that you can hurt him? You have tried several and did not succeed. The only thing they said Naomi was rushed immediately and carried uh, her son and started thanking God. God, I thank you, this and that, my people. Wonder shall never end. Though. When I hear this information, I was like, is this true? Is it true? Because, hey, I don't think things like this will happen and KBC will just keep quiet. But on the other, on the other hand, what will he do? This person is claiming that uh, she was just coming to see KBC when uh, Tade rushed to come and greet her. And because she doesn't have anything to give to the little boy, she wanted to go to her car and get something to uh, give to him. Yeah? Gift her. No be small gift her. <laughs> hey! So everyone was shocked. Everyone was surprised. Because we all know that this woman has been trying everything. Had it been uh, uh, Kwenomi's attention did not uh, go to Tade when it did, maybe she would have succeeded taking Tade Nikawa to the car or bringing out anything. But I know that in one word or other they must find out. Because she cannot pass the whole places without at least one or two cameras will capture her and the Tade Nikawa moving. You know? So, but all I do know is that the God of Penomi will always protect Tadenikawo. Tadenikawo is still a minor. And this is the reason why Penomi have said that she is not returning back to that palace with Prince Tadenikawo if this woman did not leave. Okay, just think about it now that they are not in the palace, so they just visited. What do you think will happen if Penomi happens to return back there with Tadenikawo while the women are there? What do you think will be happening? So every time she will be there to carry Tade Nikawo to ensure that Tade Nikawo did not run into these women and all of that. Is it? That is why nobody will blame her when she said that they must leave for her to come back. And on the other hand, maybe that is the reason why KBSC also said that they will not be coming to the palace until they are invited. But the others are saying that uh, because they are still his wife, uh, KBSC cannot stop them from coming into the palace. And that was when Dr. Elizabeth came up with her own idea that uh, KBSC should allow them to be coming, but they, their movement will be restricted, that there are some restricted areas for them, uh, that the only two place, three places that will have to come stay anytime they come to the palace should be the conference hall, waiting room, and the, the traditional conference uh, uh, area. So, I don't know, I don't know. When I hear this information, I was like, now, wow, what is she up to? What can she do? But I do know that this Tade Nikawu carries a lot of glory. The glory of God in him will not even allow this EB to hurt him. Seriously. Forget to Had it been she even succeeded in taking him to that place, God will disappoint her because there is nothing she can do to him. The glory of God is upon that boy. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I want to remind you that these are all alleged information. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section and give this video a thumbs up. Bye for now. Love you guys.